Hi there, uh, Chris with Simply Nutrients here. And today we're going to talk about how everyone needs a mate. No, we're not. That's true. But today we're going to talk about how FODMAPs need one and what the heck is a FODMAP. Let's jump in. Before we get to digestive physiology again, what's a FODMAP? Um, think of a FODMAP is really a complex carbohydrate or sugar. And the reason we care about them is some people don't digest those complex carbohydrates and sugars very well. And so in the small intestine, they stay too long, they ferment, bad bacteria multiply off that and cause gas, bloating, and a whole host of other symptoms. So let's back up and with that context, kind of talk a little bit about digestive physiology really quick. So as food comes out of the stomach, through the small intestine, it's moved through by the migrated motor complex or MMC. Think about this just like muscle contractions in the small intestine. It moves food through like it's on a conveyor belt at a certain speed. If that speed slows down, again, that food sits there and those complex carbohydrates and sugars cause the issue we just talked about. And the symptoms really are gas, bloating, uh, pain, could be diarrhea, a whole host of symptoms come out of that, none of which are good. So this migrated motor complex can slow down because of things like stress. So maybe more temporary issues. Maybe for some of us, those stresses more long-term, but there also can be more long-term GI issues such as SIBO or irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, or other GI disorders. So any of those, this can have an impact on. And so a lot of times when we talk about FODMAPs, people say, well, I'm on a low FODMAP diet, meaning low amounts of complex carbohydrates and complex sugars. So a FODMAP diet can really act almost like an elimination diet. So we'll jump in here. So it's the pros of being on a FOD, a low FODMAP diet, if you will, are it manages the symptoms. So you don't feel terrible, you know, you're not gassy and bloated and all those miserable things. Um, the cons are uh, FODMAP foods is a huge list. So if you want to go out to eat, you know, what food doesn't have garlic and onions in it? You know, who can remember I can eat, you know, broccoli stems are okay, but I'm sorry, broccoli stems are not okay, but the top part of the broccoli is okay. There's a whole long list. So it becomes very restrictive and and honestly, socially isolating. It's very difficult to follow um, for a long period of time. So that's why people really struggle with eliminating all these high FODMAP foods. And you can look at a map. I don't have one in, in here, uh, an image that shows all the categories of those, you know, fructins, um, all, all, all sorts of them. Okay. So to recap this high this house high FODMAP foods are really causing the issue in the small intestine. Okay. So what can we do? Uh, usually when we're talking about breaking things down and things not breaking down. We think about a digestive enzyme. And so let's say someone has a dairy allergy or a dairy. Um, they can't digest dairy very well. They would use like a lactic enzyme to break that down and help them digest it. So, that can be part of, you know, dairy is part of the high FODMAP foods, but there's a lot more. And so a doctor created this product called FODMATE that we've seen a lot of patients have great results with. And the genesis behind it was really the ability to eat across the high FODMAP food spectrum without having the issues. And it's done by creating a wide ranging enzyme, meaning the enzyme covers the whole high FODMAP food stack, if you will. So not just dairy, not just fructans, but the whole thing. And it does that by a proprietary blend of enzymes. So not just one or two, but a whole blend in just the right quantities. And so they've clinically tested this and it took them a quite a long time to figure out, well, if we tweak this, and adjust that, does that achieve the desired results? Um, and this doctor honestly was so miserable that gosh, it was her main focus to try to figure out how do we do this and how do we engineer it chemically to 
do exactly what we want and really help break down these complex carbohydrates and sugars. So that's where FODMATE from Microbiome Labs comes in. Uh, that's the product. So it's usually taken with two pills before meals. And we'll get, we'll get into that more in a second here. Let's keep going. So before we jump in more to that, whenever you're taking a digestive enzyme, timing is everything. So we wanna make sure it gets to the right spot and it releases in the right spot because it just releases in the stomach and it, stomach acid eats it all up and it doesn't do a whole lot of good. So they actually did a study, a clinical study showing where the pill released and you can see there's the pill in the stomach. It comes down and starts to release at the bottom of the stomach and then fully releases right where you want in the small intestine. It's done by a <clears throat> special capsule that releases that way regardless of pH in the stomach. Very cool technology. Uh, and again, vegan, we'll talk about that too in a second here. So, you know, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, egg-free, I won't read you the whole slide, sugar-free, you know, vegan and vegetarian. So able to do that and keep it free of all those things, releasing it in the right spot and really taking care so you can eat high FODMAPs. So you should always be working with your healthcare practitioner on these things because GI issues are very complex. So you can't just take FODMATE forever and eat all the high FODMAP foods you want. Uh, some discretion is required. Um, you, again, work with your healthcare practitioner. You know, normally we say you shouldn't be on FODMATE regularly for more than three months. And the reason for that is we don't want to affect negatively the large intestines microbiome. And so there's multiple considerations. So talk to your healthcare practitioner or contact our practice. We'd be happy to work with you. Um, otherwise use, you can follow the label instructions, you know, two pills before meals. Uh, we've seen it be very effective at really treating that gas and bloating. Now, again, please work with a healthcare practitioner because you want to make sure you're getting all the nutrients that you need, especially if you have a complex GI disorder such as SIBO or such as um, IBS. You know, you may need a medical food or something else in addition to make sure you're getting the full micronutrient profile that you need. So anyway, we've seen a lot of great success with FODMATE. We're really excited about it. Uh, I hope this quick video, try to keep it under five minutes, I didn't quite succeed, kind of helps you get an understanding of what it's there for, uh, what it can do. Uh, please feel free to contact our practice, um, Select Health of the Twin Cities uh, through simplynutrients.com. Thanks so much.